Yo, what's good, gang? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dylan. Look who I'm with today. And look who I'm with today. <laughs> so we brought out the FD. It's been so long since we started up this car. Two weeks. Two weeks. But it's alive. We did have to charge it, I'm not gonna lie to you. Thanks to the FB6. You guys see the S2K over there. But today we're gonna talk about the FD, all about the FD, what's done to it, everything that's on the car. And see what's good. So as you can see, the car is idling. It's pretty much warmed up, but we're getting a whole lot of smoke from the car. So much smoke. And there's a reason why it smokes. A lot of things have been done to this car, and we will be going through that all today. So we're about to head out. Got the SK ready, tops down. FD's warmed up. Time to go have some fun, right? Sir. Sure. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Pretty fast in the FD. Let's go shoot this thing. A few moments later. We got some requests to wear Revit. We just gonna do something for the kids. So the sun is in my face, but we made it to our spot. It's near a park, it's near a school. But like this is the only open area where we can film. So let's get started. Don't mind the dust. <laughs> car needs to be washed. But this is a 1993. <laughs> Why isn't the car washed? Don't worry. All right, all right. All right, so this is a 1993 JDM Mazda R7, or I should say Affini RX7. Um, so far what's done to it, we got the OEM 93 front end with a, with a lip on it. For the wheels, the car has Work Rezax version 1. They're 18 inch, I'm not too sure about the specs, but they are 18 inch. Really classic JDM wheel. along the side here we got side skirts I think these are feed I'm not too sure what type they are we got side skirts we come around the back we got a diffuser over here not too sure what type it might be a Ari style Ari Amemia style diffuser for the tail lights we got the 99 spec tail lights with the circles looks so cool I think this is a really good upgrade Love the 99 spec tail lights, looks so cool. And R7 is dark, and then you just see the pop of the tail lights. So fire. So for the exhaust, we got a 5. I don't know if you guys can see it, 5 Zegen or Zegen. Somebody, if you guys know how to pronounce it, let me know. 5 Zegen, Zegen, uh, cat back exhaust. And then for suspension, this car is sitting on HSD coilovers. Once again, not too sure which type they are. And the reason why we're not too sure, the previous owner didn't give us a full rundown of what's been done to the car. So we're just slowly figuring it out. All right, so let's hop in the interior. Don't mind this, guys. Don't mind everything. It's a project car. Working project. You've got the mic. Anything you'd like to say? Oh, uh, trust the process. <laughs> so you step inside, we got Carbon fiber R7 side sills, both sides. Uh, we do have the OEM one. We got OEM stock seats, OEM steering wheel, OEM everything in the interior. Cool about these 1993s, you got the cubby in the back here instead of having seats. Um, the only thing the previous owner did change, as you can see, there's a Pioneer uh, double din screen, touch screen, it works. So currently we have no gauges. I mean, the fuel gauge actually works. Everything here works to the left right there. 
but we're still working on it. We actually got this over here that Adrian's holding. These are our Speed Hut custom gauges. We're still in the process of wiring it up. Looks super complicated, but um, we'll figure it out. But these are our new Speed Hut gauges. Just because our tack wasn't working and our speedometer wasn't working. So here's the trunk slash hatch. Like I said, this car is just a two-seater. In the back, you get cubbies. You got the strut bar over here. The coils are underneath, which is pretty sick. Um, lots of space. Put some stuff in here. Grocery car. Mm -hmm. What? Grocery? Grocery car. Uh, the only thing is the dampers doesn't work. Adrian, let's go. Doesn't stay up, so got to change that. There is a spare tire in here. It's pretty cool. Look how big the trunk is, man from Japan, Japanese spare tire. How much y'all want it for? Uh, thousand bucks. <laughs> thousand bucks for this spare tire. But um, yeah, no rust, barely any rust in this car. Pretty much clean. Oh, now it's staying? What? What the f <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> now this is the fun part. Let's see what's under the hood. Woo. Look at this. What are you looking at? A beast. <laughs> so under the hood, we got the rotary. So this, the reason why this car is special, this motor was street ported. It's said to make, what, 450? 400. to the wheels. <laughs> 450 to the wheels. So, you know, this car is pretty fast. Fastest car I've ever driven. It's jam, makes yeah, jam. It makes jam. So we don't really know what's done to the car, but as you can see, we got a Greddy pipe over here. This is a custom V mount. We got a HKS blow up valve. It's still running the stock twin turbos. And we think that's our problem with all the smoke. Uh, we got aftermarket pulleys over here. Odyssey small battery. So everything can fit. There's no AC. AC was deleted in this whole kit. We're also not even sure what kind of injectors this car is running, but this is it, 450 horsepower RX-7. So they say. So they say. <laughs> so there you have it, full rundown of our 1993 Mazda RX-7 project. Um, it also has an upgraded clutch. We don't know what clutch is in here, but it feels really great. It feels really good, it grabs nice. Easy to drive this car. I would say it's even more easier to drive than the S2K. So, clutch is really nice. This car makes jam, it's fun to drive. And yeah. So you're probably wondering what are our plans for the car. So, definitely needs new wheels and tires. The tires on this car is not the best. The brakes are also not the best. Um, you guys saw the smoke issue. We're trying to figure that out. We don't know if it's the stock twins. Maybe we should go single which is hella expensive, but whatever it takes to get this car running 100%. Sponsor us, somebody. Somebody sponsor us, yes. Please. We need that Garrett, we need that Borg Warner. Trust, we need that, we, we need, need that single turbo. We need that single turbo. HGS, reach, reach out to us, that's what we need. Just trying to get this car running 100%. We might change the steering wheel, it's super hard to get into this car. Just the interior pieces are kind of like, you guys hear that sound? It's so flimsy, it's 1993, so. The interior, eh, could use some work. But slowly but surely, we'll add our touch to this car. So one last startup, we're just gonna start it up for us. Breaking the car, bro? That's on you. New size here, it's on you. On your tap. I love that sound. Some pulleys, like I said, we definitely need new intakes. Maybe that'll help with our smoke problem. We added premix to this car, and um, yeah, we're still diagnosing it. But I love the sound of the rotary. Sounds so cool.
Trust me, bro. The they kids, smile. the kids come out. They actually love the FD. Back to school. So one more thing I did forget. Can't believe I forgot this. But we also did change the LED lights. Thank you to our sponsor, Basla. If you guys haven't seen the video, go check it out. We got LED lights for our FD. Blow up up. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Full rundown of our FD. More to come from the channel. The season is over, but we'll figure it out. Still got some. Yeah, we always work and we'll figure out things to do. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know what to do. Catch you guys in the next one. We out. Peace.